I'm Emeron Meyer. I'm a professor of medicine at UCLA, uh, and I'm the author of the new book, The Gut Immune Connection. Five years ago, I published my first book, The Mind-Gut Connection, which built on the excitement that happened at the time, realizing that our gut microbiome has an influence on brain function. In my new book, I take this several steps further and uh, show many examples, patient examples and science, um, that this microbiome inside of our gut has a major influence on all of our organs and changes in the microbiome are responsible for our current um, public health crisis. Let me start with um, what the Mind-Gut Connection was about. Uh, that, that book was written in 2015, came out in 2016, and it was a time when the first evidence had appeared that there's a connection between the microbes in our gut and our brains, our mind, our brain function. Um, now, fast forward almost five years, uh, a, lot of, a lot of progress has happened in microbiome science, and particularly in the area of communication between the microbiome and the central nervous system. But we've also learned a lot of other things, that the microbiome is involved not just in the regulation of uh, and the modulation of brain function, but also that it can affect pretty much all the processes in, in our bodies, in our organs, um, that ultimately, and this is really a main focus of the gut immune connection, um, processes that are underlying the current uh, public health uh, crisis, an epidemic of chronic uh, non-infectious disorders and diseases that at first glance do not look that they are connected with each other. Um, but I'm making the, the, the point in, this, uh, in, in the gut immune connection that they are all part of a similar spectrum of dysregulation of interactions of our gut microbiome with the immune system in the gut um, with effects that spread beyond the gut throughout the body and are responsible for many of these diseases. So it's a big unifying uh, theory or concept uh, that the gut microbiome inside of us, dependent to a large degree on the food that, that we eat and that we consume, uh, influence interacting with the immune system in the gut and in the body, um, and being the cause dysregulations of that, both in our diet and in the way these microbes interact with the immune system, being a major cause, unifying cause of our current uh, epidemic of chronic infectious diseases.